In this video, we're going to take a look at how tabs work in Word 2010. If you want to line up text, uh, the, there's basically two choices. You can either use tabs or you can use tables, uh, but that's pretty much the only way that you ever, should ever try to line up text in columns when you're using a word processor. Don't ever try to use spaces to line up text uh, because you're going to have problems. Now, if you want to do uh, things with tabs, first thing you need to do is make sure that your ruler is visible and if your ruler is not visible you can go to the view tab and this is where you turn it on and off and I think that 99% uh, of the time you probably want that ruler there it doesn't take up a lot of space on the screen and uh, it lets you know a little bit about why your document looks the way that it looks okay so there are two things involved in using tabs one is setting tab stops up here at the top of your document on the ruler uh, basically you're setting places where you want text to be aligned and the other thing is uh, putting tab characters in your document down here so we have uh, if you know if you're old enough to use typewriters you know that with the old mechanical typewriters you basically had one type of tab stop and uh, that was what's now called a left tab stop and if you hit the tab key uh, it would take you to a certain point and uh, in Word 2013 the default tab stops are every half inch. Now in earlier versions of Word they used to have little tiny hash marks here that showed you where the default tab stops are and those are no longer there in 2013. So when I hit the tab key once it takes me the half inch mark when I hit it again it takes me the one inch mark and so on one half inch every time I hit the tab character and you should have on your home tab you should have the show hide button pushed in so that you can actually see where you're hitting the tab character the tab character will show up as a horizontal arrow like this if you have show hide pushed in if you don't have show hide pushed in you don't see anything and uh, so if you want to see what your doc why your document looks the way it looks you really need to have this pushed in all the time so I hit tab twice I type in a little bit of junk and I hit enter and I hit tab twice again I type in a little bit of junk and and as long as I keep hitting whoops keep hitting tab twice and type in some junk everything is going to be lined up basically right underneath this one inch mark right there so everything gets aligned on the left side it doesn't matter how much stuff I you know I get this stuff could be real long this stuff could be real short this stuff could be real long again uh, the right side doesn't matter what matters is the left side will be everything will be aligned now with a word processor you have some other options for tabs other than left tabs and uh, you can have a center tab which will cause everything to be aligned around some center point so you have equal amounts of text on both sides you have a right tab which will cause text to be right aligned and they've got something neat called a decimal tab that's used for lining up numbers so if you don't want to use the default tab stops which I don't think you should use very often uh, let's just delete that uh, you need to set your own tab stops and the tab stops in Word are uh, set by using this little box over here there's a little L there and if I click on that it changes to an upside down T and if you get the little uh, tool uh, tip here it tells you that's a center tab and if you click again and you go off and you get the tool tip back it's a right tab and if you click again and that's a decimal tab and then we've got a couple of more things here that we're not going to take a look at um, and you just cycle through them so there's about seven options there and you just keep clicking until you get to the one that you want and whatever is visible here is what will get set on the ruler when you go click on the ruler so let's say I want a bunch of stuff to line up at the two inch mark uh, and I want left align so I get my left tab stop here I go click on the two inch mark and let's try that again and there's a little L there and what that does also is it basically wipes out all of the default tab stops before that point now the default tab stops are still here after it and in the 2013 version of Word you can't see that but they're there so I hit tab it takes me all the way over to this point and you know if I type a little bit of stuff and hit enter and hit tab and type a little bit of stuff and hit enter and hit tab and type a little bit of stuff uh, everything that I type if I hit the tab first is going to line up right underneath that two inch mark so everything will be left aligned okay and if I want to change that uh, it's real easy just select those lines and grab that tab stop and just move it over 
and so you, if you decide afterwards that it should really be indented a little bit further or maybe not quite as far, uh, all you got to do is select the data and you can drag this tab stop back and forth. So uh, the markers up here I call tab stops and what you insert into your document down here is actually a character. Uh, it's the character that you get when you press the tab key on the keyboard and Word displays it as a horizontal arrow. So that's how left tabs work. Uh, they work basically the way tabs worked on old style typewriters. And uh, another thing about tabs here, if you go to the end of a line and you hit the enter key, uh, tabs are formatting, paragraph formatting commands. And so when I hit the enter key, uh, all paragraph formatting commands carry over to the next line, or to the next paragraph. So uh, when I hit enter, I still have that same old left tab stop there at the one and a half inch mark. And if I hit tab on this line and start typing some junk, um, it still lines up. Okay, so if I want to go to a new line now, a new paragraph, and I want to change my tab stops, I can go back to the default tab stops by grabbing that, just click on it, drag down till it's off the ruler, and let go. And now if I hit tab, it's going to be back to the default tab stops every half inch mark. 